Drew with your news briefing. Australia is dealing with another massive jump in COVID case numbers. New South Wales recording a staggering 21,000 in the past 24 hours, along with six deaths ahead of a fresh scrapping of QR code check-ins. I know and understand that many people across our state today are anxious. But just like the challenges of the last two years, we will get through this challenge and come out strong with the other side. And we'll do that because of the effort and the spirit of the people of our state. Premier Dominic Perrottet there. Victoria's added almost 6,000 cases and seven deaths. Queensland's had just over 3,000. South Australia cracking 2,000. Tasmania has had 137. Well, National Cabinet has ditched the requirement for COVID positive people to get a test on day six before leaving isolation. It comes just hours after the PM confirmed those with the virus would need the rapid antigen test, even if they were asymptomatic. Also today, police are urging people to have a sensible New Year's Eve as hundreds of thousands are expected to attend public celebrations across the country tonight. Ghislaine Maxwell's likely to appeal her conviction for grooming underage girls after being found guilty on five charges, including sex trafficking. The British socialite is facing the prospect of spending the rest of her life behind bars. And one in three Aussies is expected to have a ticket for tonight's $40 million Lotto Mega Draw. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Clouds, a unique music event with no cues or last-minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. Batsman Travis Head will miss next week's fourth test after testing positive for COVID. The squad are meant to be flying into Sydney today. Head will be isolating in Melbourne for the next week. While the Big Bash is in turmoil with four Sydney Thunder players testing positive, their clash tonight with the Adelaide Strikers is now in doubt. And Ichiban has been crowned the overall winner of the Sydney to Hobart. It's after rival Celestial was slapped with a 40-minute time penalty following two contests. for the Limestone Coast this New Year's Eve, dropping to 14 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, cloudy skies in store, a top of 32, then going down to 24 on Sunday. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.